So believe it or not, today is 701 since we purchased the Mustang back in March of 2022. Since then, we have done quite a bit of deconstruction, education, restoration, restoration, purchasing, quite a bit of purchasing, modification, fabrication, and preparation. So today is the day that we are going to paint this. Now it may already look painted. Now pointing over here is actually over there. Um, may have already may already look painted, um, but in fact that is um, that is the rust encapsulator plus, which is over there. Over there. Um, that acts as a base to ensure that the metal is well sealed and protected. Um, we also included some, on the transmission tunnel, we included some, some noise reduction and what they call soundproofing. It's not soundproof, but it's noise reduction, as well as some uh, spray on bed liner, uh, undercoating spray in a can to try to give that section of both the underside of the car and the inside of the car <clears throat> some added protection from noise as well as protection from things that might fly up under the car. So today, in preparation of finishing preparation of that, we are going to actually clean out, clear out the entire garage. I clear out the entire garage completely. All of this, all of this, move it out there and set up a spray booth. And we're gonna have a professional paint and body man come today, super exciting, to uh, help us apply Eastwood epoxy primer to the underside of the uh, full floor assembly from Dynacorn. Now, I got gray <clears throat> and I have black. And the objective here is to approximate what would be considered slop gray. Um, when these cars were going down the assembly line, they basically took all the leftover paint and put it in a bucket. Doesn't matter what color it was, they threw every leftover paint they could find and threw it in a bucket. And that would be the paint that they used for the underside of the car. So all those colors mixed together was basically a shade of gray or shades of gray, depending on what line and what time of year and what ended up in that bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to approximate that color on the bottom of the car uh, because it was built in Dearborn. Dearborn cars got the slop gray paint. Uh, the San Jose cars and starting a little bit later, the Matuchin cars in New Jersey got a uh, red oxide primer. That's how you can kind of tell the difference between the um, assembly plants based on the underside color of the car. Um, they would never be red if they were coming from Dearborn. So we're going to approximate that color by either just using this straight out of the can if this is the right color or kind of do a mixture of the black and the gray. And so in order to do that, which is going to happen, well, he's going to be here in about an hour. So I need to clear all this out and get ready for him to uh, do his thing, to do your stuff, to take him down, to do your thing. So let's get started.
And that is how we don't do that. I should have waited to have help, but this is just as good as anything else. I don't know if he's gonna want it standing up when he sprays it or not, but it's in, it's up, it's prepped. I just need to wipe it down and get all the dust off of it. There you go.